Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. So the other day I did an unboxing of uh, my first shipment of Delta 17 figures and I'm going to try and review them all. And I'm going to start with this guy. This is Shepard Delta 17's leader. And here he is in package. You can see in the front, nice uh, comic style art. And on the back, you can see a group shot of them along with the figures of this wave, the good guys here on the, the left and the bad guys on the right. And if we go closer, we can see his bio card here. You can see he's a squad leader, his age, rank, and other information if you want to pause it to read it. But uh, yeah, that is the packaging. Now, um, I really like the packaging for this, so I'm actually going to try and keep it. Uh, what One thing I like to do with these carded figures, if I'm going to keep the packaging, is take a very sharp knife and cut them out carefully. I'm going to angle the camera like so. I don't cut all the way up here, but I kind of cut around close to the bottom, as close as I can get. The sharper the knife, the better because it makes life a lot easier. And I'm gonna try to get this on camera, but I am left-handed, so it might be difficult for me to do. But I'm gonna take it like so. There we go. So even though it's been cut, you can see I can uh, still keep it in its package like so if I wanted to or just uh, take it out like this and keep it intact I like the plastic tray it's in it has a little cover here to keep things all together which is cool let's uh, pull this out it comes with a lot of accessories Actually, let's just have it all come out here. And then I'm going to put this back and slide it back in a bit. And there you go. Okay, here is Shepard with all of his accessories. He comes with a figure stand here. This is Delta 17. It's a little smaller than your standard G.I. Joe figure stand. Comes with a backpack. His shotgun. Nice detailing on the weapons. His rifle. Looks like an M4. You have a extra magazine over here. Looks like a laser or a light. Flip up sights. A lot of nice detailing on this rifle. Comes with a helmet with night vision optics. And this is a, it's a softer plastic, but I guess that's to make sure it doesn't break when inserting it like so. And Shepard himself here. Let's take a closer look at him. Very nice paint apps on him, well detailed. I like the Molly vest. Very clean. You have his shotgun shells down here. A lot of attention to detail. His sidearm. The face paint is nice and clean. Overall, very clean all around. Now, it is an O-ring uh, style figure, but it does have a little bit more articulation than your standard G.I. Joe. Um, basically, the wrists are able to rotate, which uh, really helps with posing with the weapons. Now, by today's uh, modern figure designs, it's not as articulated as a lot of, uh, like, say, for instance, the, uh, I think the vintage Star Wars figures, but back in the day, this was the most articulated uh, design 
or figures this size, which is really cool. Now, just to compare them, I, I, here's a three and three quarter inch snake eyes. Version one. Now, this one is actually a 3D printed one. But I'm going to zoom in and see if you can tell. Hopefully, I don't know. But this was a 3D printed on a Bamboo Lab uh, A1 Mini with a 0.2 nozzle. There you go. And uh, it is a O-ring design. I'll put a link to the to where I downloaded it from on Cults 3D. But very cool. Let's focus. There you go. Focus. So in scale with three and three quarter inch Joe's. Hey, right, let's get his helmet on. Let's see. The night vision optic. And you can put it down like so and it lines up, I guess, close to his eyes. Well, can't really see his eyes, but it looks right. <laughs> Let's get his backpack on. Now, his shotgun can store here. I think it goes here. There you go. Shotgun can store right here. And then he can carry his rifle like so. And because you can rotate the wrists, He's able to utilize that, that Magpul style forward grip. And let's put a stand on. There you go, here's Shepard. Very cool looking figure. Very, um, I don't know, a lot of character to this design. I like all the details. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to the comic to learn more about the different characters and in Delta 17. But yeah, it's kind of cool that he can store all of his accessories on him, which is a nice feature. But yeah, this is Shepard from Delta 17. I'm gonna briefly go through the articulation. Like I said, th this is an O-ring design. You're gonna get uh, more articulation than you know the standard old retro Star Wars uh, from the 80s but like I said you're, you're not going to expect it to have as much as uh, the modern vintage Star Wars line kind of weird saying modern vintage but yeah the head rotates back and forth up and down so it's the ball joint design that came out with G.I. Joe a long time um, after the initial wave uh, Originally, it could only go left and right, but it didn't have the up and down, but this one uses that design. You can go all the way around, up at the shoulder, twist at the bicep, bend at the elbow, twist at the wrist, which is different from older G.I. Joe figures. Rotate, not 360 because this is O-ring. You don't want to snap it. Can kind of do almost a split it's probably as much of a split that i could do and you can't kick up so bend at the knee and that's pretty much it still a very fun property uh really brings me back and just the excitement of learning about these characters and what is the story behind them Anyway, that is it for this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And thanks for watching.